Hey everybody. Last week we talked about being in a funk and since then I've had a handful of people tell me that they really do feel like they're being in the middle of this funk place and they want to get out of it. So we said you could be in a feel like you're in a funk for a thousand different reasons last time. All kinds of triggers from your bank account to your family conflict to the heavy load at work or there's a real chance that you can't put your finger on what the the trigger to this funky spot is. It could be anything. The phase of the moon, <laughs> the bare, barometric pressure, who knows what it is. So last week we talked about three things we could do to get ourselves out of it. Go find that video. Those were three great suggestions. Now we're going to do three more suggestions. We said every Wednesday in July we're going to come up with three things we can do to get our, move ourselves out of this funk. So today the first thing is going to surprise you. It's a little unexpected and that is declutter. Would you have thought of that? <laughs> to get yourself out of a funk, declutter. Now the, the, there's science behind this. There's studies that tell us that when we declutter we feel calmer, we feel happier, we are more in control and and the the ability to have a decluttered space uh, increases our focus. So those four things happen when we declutter. And clutter itself increases stress. Declutter. When my kids were young, uh, they would love to play with their toys in their room. And then all they'd be in there for what seemed like a long time and all of a sudden they would no longer be in there and I would walk into the room and every toy they had would be on the floor and when that happened when the clutter got maximized they exited the room they could no longer handle the stress of it so we'd call a timeout and come into the room and we'd clean put everything back where it belonged and then they would play again in that space without coming out of the room to get away from the clutter. So there is real real science behind this and, and some experimentation on my part with it. <laughs> so start small. I know that your attic needs to be decluttered, but if you've been putting, jamming stuff in, in there for the last decade and haven't taken anything out for the last 20 years, don't start there. Start small. <laughs> start with the junk drawer in the kitchen or just your the surface of your desk. Begin to declutter. See if that doesn't help you with this funky spot that you're in. The second idea is create. Psychologists and art therapists have five years ago did a study where they began to realize that when we create something, anything, it increases positive emotion, it lessens depressive symptoms, it reduces stress, it decreases anxiety, and then it improves our immune system. All five of those things. So create, whether that means draw or write in a journal or go out and plant something in the garden, try a new recipe, take a new class, put together a jigsaw or, or those problem-solving puzzles. Whatever create looks like for you, carve out some time and just sit down and create. So a couple of suggestions to get us out of our funk, declutter and create. And then the final suggestion today is a big one. Man, if we could master this, this would help us in a thousand different ways. And that is take a break from your own thoughts. <laughs> Go on a mini vacation from worry about the future and fretting about the past. How do you do that? Well, I'm not sure how it works for you, but for some people, it's as simple as unplugging. Stop scrolling, stop watching the news, just unplug in order to take a break from your own thoughts. Maybe you need to meditate or pray or socialize. Get out with some people or perhaps get outside and be alone. Not socialize, but get outdoors. Uh, maybe it's Simply stop focusing on what's happening in your brain and start focusing, move that focus into your body. What am I, what, what, where am I tense? Where are the muscles tense? 
How's my breathing? Start focusing on something else. Perhaps this is a big issue for you and you've tried a lot of things and you haven't been able to take a break, take a brain break. Uh, so maybe you need to hire some a coach to help you with that or a counselor or whomever, whatever professional you might need. You've probably heard the quote from Mark Twain that said, I have known many sorrows, most of which never happened. <laughs> Take a break from what's going on in your brain, however you can do that. So to get out of your funk, whatever brought that on, try these three things. Declutter something, create something, and take a break from your brain. I'm Michelle Gooch with Life by Design. You can find me at lifebydesign.guru, www.lifebydesign.guru. I love to help people find a path to the life that they want to design. And I will partner with you to do that. You're welcome to reach out and we'll talk about what that would look like. Until then, I'll see you next Wednesday at one for three more ideas about how to get out of a funk. See you next week.